now on KSNT News. In a matter of moments, Topeka City Council members will vote on an issue that they've been talking about for months. We'll tell you how the possible panhandling rules would affect you. Plus, we get the rules down. I think we can finish this process. More than two weeks after that historic impeachment vote, the process is stalled. One of our Kansas senators wants to change that. We'll hear from him tonight. And what made this past year the worst for measles in nearly three decades. But first, we do have some breaking news. At least 10 rockets have reportedly hit a base housing U.S. troops in Iraq. That's according to Iranian state TV reported by the Associated Press. It's being described as a revenge attack after President Trump ordered the deadly attack on military leader Ghassim Soleimani last week. Now, there isn't a lot of information being released right now, but we will bring you more details as we learn them. You can follow along at KSNT.com. And traffic is down to one lane on Highway 24 right now after a semi-driver caused a crash and went off the road. Troopers with the Kansas Highway Patrol say it happened just west of Silver Lake. The driver of that semi didn't make a complete stop while turning onto the highway. That's when the driver crashed into another truck. Both of the vehicles went off the road and the semi ended up on the train tracks. No one was hurt, but troopers are directing traffic right now. Panhandling. City leaders will vote tonight on whether to ban it in certain parts of Topeka. We have a map that shows the location of the 23 intersections where it would not only be illegal to ask for money, but it would also be illegal for you to give money. KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett is live at City Hall where a debate will be underway in just a moment. Dan. Chase, the city has been studying this issue for months and they are expected to make a decision tonight. Now, if the ordinance passes, people who distract drivers could face fines and even jail time. Now, discussions for the ordinance started about a year ago to stop some of the panhandling in the city. While uh, city leaders say they can't ban panhandling altogether because of free speech issues, they're looking to prevent it in the, at the intersections with the most crashes. This law would also apply to people who stop their cars to hand out money. Also, as a motorist, you're not allowed to inter interact with people there because, again, if you stop to, you know, interact with somebody on the side of the road, there's a person behind you in a car. So you're also creating a, a more dangerous environment in that intersection. The fine for breaking the law would be up to $500 or up to 30 days in jail. Now, this city ordinance only applies to busy intersections, so people will still be able to panhandle in other, other intersections like on Wanamaker. Live in downtown Topeka, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. Okay, Dan, thank you. And you can count on us to bring you the update on the council's decision as soon as it happens with the KSNT mobile app. We've made it easy for you to download if you don't already have that at KSNT.com. Now, outside, a nice day today, and hopefully we're shaping up for another one. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller to see. Matt? Yeah, savor them. Enjoy them while we have them. Some big changes out ahead of us. Even tonight, early tomorrow morning, it's going to be chilly with the sky remaining clear. Temperatures will drop off rather quickly this evening and tonight. Already starting to see 40s showing up. That's way above the average high, but considering we were in the middle to even some upper 50s earlier, these are certainly falling off pretty quickly. Already down to 40. 42 degrees at Emporia, McLeod at 48, it's 45 at Marysville, Blue Rapids and Riley both at 47. The winds are becoming much lighter, but still running at about 5 to as high as 12 miles per hour. As the wind dies down this evening, the temperatures will really start to tumble. And the wind chill, not a major concern initially because they'll be matched up with the air temperature through most of the night because there won't be much wind. To late tonight into tomorrow morning, the breezes pick back up and that briefly drops the wind chills into the teens. The actual air temperature should only hit 26 degrees tonight, but the return of a light southeast wind in the morning becomes a much stronger southerly wind tomorrow, but we do warm up nicely during the afternoon. We're back into the 50s yet again. How many more of these milder days are ahead of us before some well, typical January cold makes a return? That's coming up. You know, at six, doctors say 2019 was the worst year for the measles since 1992. The CDC says the majority of cases were among people who didn't have the measles vaccine. More than 1,200 cases were reported nationwide, and more than 100 of those people had to go to the hospital. Cases were confirmed in 31 states. Kansas was not one of them, but Missouri did have a few. Last week, we told you doctors are reminding people to keep an eye on their health because they may have been exposed during the holiday travel season. Police at K-State are thanking you for helping them track, track down a stolen utility vehicle. This is an update to a story we told you about on Friday. Police released a few surveillance pictures of two people stealing from Bill Snyder Family Stadium. The suspects got away with the vehicle and some money from an ATM. Police say they stole the, 
the police say they found the stolen vehicle, I should say, but officers are still looking for information about the suspects tonight. The new Chief Justice of the Kansas Supreme Court is working to modernize the court system. Our Capitol Bureau sat down with Marla Lukert today. She says one of her priorities is making it easier for you to access court records. So you can be at home and check on your court dates, um, just have more information available to you if you do have a case that's in process. And Lukert says she also wants to implement programs to keep people from repeating crimes. A local teacher received some special news today. During a surprise phone call, Sydney Doty found out that she's one of this year's Horizon Award winners for the state of Kansas. Doty is a fifth grade teacher at Barrington Elementary. She says she's that even though she loves teaching, it's the kids that keep her going. And just like really cherishing these this group of kids. And then, yeah, everything that's happened these last few days has just really solidified, like, this is, I'm right where I need to be. And congratulations to her. The Horizon Award recognizes excellent uh, teaching in both elementary and secondary education for the first year teacher. A Manhattan family is keeping their dad's love for sweets alive by opening a cookie dough shop. His family says Kenny Flower, Fowler, I should say, made the best cookies. And his family never actually knew how to make those famous cookies. And now Kenny's family is bringing his memory love for cooking and passion to the Little Apple. He did so much for us and did so much for other people um, that we just wanted his name to live on and this just seemed like it was the perfect opportunity. Yeah, find out how they're dedicating the store to their dad. That's tonight in our Someone You Should Know segment at 10. 20 days after the impeachment vote and no sign of a trial getting started in the Senate, but some Republicans on Capitol Hill are working to change that. We'll hear from Kansas Senator Pat Roberts coming up. And it's a packed house at the Stormont Vale Events Center. We'll tell you why everything, everyone can find something to enjoy at this year's farm show. Later in sports, previews for K-State and KU as both teams continue Big 12 play. Plus, one big factor heading into Sunday's playoff game between the Chiefs and Texans. That and more as KSNT News continues.